Hello, Final Ruins Tubers, and welcome back to play Shining Force 3, Scenario 3, with me, Blue Ankylo. It's time to open up the last ruins of the game. Don't even try it, the treasure's mine. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, uh, this is the final one. I checked the list. There's, uh, it's actually not even a very complicated one, but we'll send in, you know, a good number of soldiers. Soldats. And, um, this should be fine. This is, a, apparently, from what I saw, not a very difficult ruin. But we do want to send in a good number of people. People with good mobility, as usual. And we'll get the last treasure ruin of the game, basically. The Great Innovator. Ah, uh, Cyclops is fast enough, he can get in there. Kate, why not? I mean, we're probably, we've probably got enough people in by now, but it's not like we're going to start fighting the boss while they're in there. I was thinking of not sending in Cyclops, just because, um, you know, theoretically we could try to capture those dragons, but we'd have to start fighting the boss or fly across. And if you fly across, you can't capture them. Maybe we'll fly across and kill one or something, maybe? I don't know. So yeah, there's a lot of thieves in here. This is why I sent a lot of people. And on the first turn, they don't get to do anything. But... Basically, I think this is all going to be over in like one or two turns. So I send lots of people in, so I've got lots of options. But otherwise, it's not like we've got a puzzle or a... Well, I guess it's sort of a puzzle, but we don't have a lot of mazes or any kind of enemies to fight, really. Could get a couple attacks. Dragon, -o dragon on dragon. Why not? Could possibly weaken him a little bit, so then Dragon Man... Wow. Mm, I don't know if my blue dragon's actually tough enough to, to do much. Alright, so, there's a bunch of thieves. Um, they're gonna do stuff. Like, wander around. I think they each head for a different chest. That's the one we're gonna want to get, like, right away, because he could potentially run away now. Everybody else we want to ignore for a turn. So, the thing is, we have to shoot cannons to stop them. So, if possible, I'd like to hit this guy. Uh, he's got a very interesting wand. But I'm not sure if, like, we might actually need to get to this cannon to hit him. So, like, from here... I'm not sure the area of effect. Yeah, this, it only fires kind of straight. So, for now... I'm just gonna leave Spiral in between these two cannons. Honesty... I'm going to let Donhort go to the right, and Honesty can kind of handle the far left one. Yeah, he's not going to be able to make it all the way to the right, but maybe from here? I don't know. No, that's the wrong one, so it doesn't really help. So, Donhort will have to try next turn. Technically, we could fire from there. Like, I guess you only need five people, really, all together. So I will send, like, once once someone's standing in front of a cannon, there's, not much, there's nothing else you can do. So I'll just send Thousand and Leon out. They're not going to be able to change anything. You might not need all of those, uh... You might not need every cannon to be manned anyway. I don't know for sure. And there might be some decision-making on, like, which enemy you attack, because you only get the one shot before they run away or something. I don't know. All right, let's see how our blue dragon stands up to the earth dragon. That hurt. And it lowers. Okay, so he's kind of like a Hydra, actually. He's got the same attack the Hydras did. I don't think our blue dragon really stands a chance. Um, his defense is down to 34. Next turn, this guy can do 45 damage to him. Wow. Well, we'll get one more attack in and then we'll fly away, I guess, but we're not going to be able to do a whole lot against this dragon. I was hoping we get to see a blizzard. The blizzard would probably do, a, well, 20 or 30 damage at least, but... Alright, so... That one opened a chest. Orichalcum we want. That one opened a chest. Crystal Rod, we do want that. Alright, so that guy's going to try to escape. We want to hit him too. And we basically want to hit them all. Well, I say that. Okay, so, targets. The guy behind, beside that chest. This guy's running interference. 
This guy's got the special rod. Don't worry about him. So the far one doesn't really matter, I don't think. We have to make a decision on do we shoot the Orichalcum guy or the Thunder Rod guy. And then we should be able to hit this guy and this guy from uh, those two cannons. Unless this cannon can also hit maybe the Crystal Rod. So I think that's the first thing you want to check. Oh, we got him. So we're going to get all the loot. Piece of cake. So you don't even need five people. Four would be enough. I don't know how they drop the treasure and then throw it across the chasm so that we can pick it up, but I'm not going to complain. This guy just picked up that treasure. That's two down. So Dawn Hort is not needed at the moment, although someone will still have to pick up that treasure. You've got nothing. All we're going to be able to do is hit this guy and the guy that just grabbed the Orichalcum. Alright, so I think either way, Spiriel could hit either one. But I mean, I'll leave Dawnhort just in case. It's not like it's going to really save me or fi fail me any time here. Alright, so the Crystal Rod's pretty awesome. I think that's the one that gives you plus one mobility as well, which can be very, very helpful. Now we need to target this guy. Alright, four out of five treasures. Nobody escapes. Honestly, it seems like a pretty easy ruin, but uh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how you could mess it up. If you didn't send enough people in on the first turn, but... I assume by this point in the game, you know how that kind of stuff works. Maybe I'll send Thousand to help out with the Blue Dragon. We'll see. I think this is the last turn I can really safely leave the Blue Dragon, though. Well, I think that'll do less damage than a physical hit at this point. And he's already been slowed. But I think even a one physical hit has a chance to kill him now. Oh, that guy might get aggressive. Yeah, we'll pull him back and maybe heal him up. This is actually pretty safe. Alright, thieves, what you gonna do? Looks like we probably had one or two turns where we uh, had a little bit of time to play around if we missed. None of them have left yet. Okay, that guy you had to hit the first turn he stole anything because... So, like, the most important one is to send someone to this angle, because you've got one turn to get that treasure. Everyone else, I think you've got a couple turns. At least two turns. So, the only one that has any loot is this guy. No, this guy. Alright. So, basically, Spiriel or Dawn Hort. She can't get out in one turn anyway. Actually, Dawn Hort might be able to get out in one turn, so... I'll let Dawn Hort shoot him. Yeah, it just might be easier for us to get out of here. Although, all the thieves might run away next turn. I don't know. We'll see. Chaos Blade! What does it do? Don't ask me. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Well, I just don't remember. Look. Look, guys. You can't trust me. Oh, yeah. That was a pretty easy ruins, I feel. And a Crystal Rod. Couple Ori Cal... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So they decided they're tired of waiting for me. Okay, the Rainblood's Queen's Blaze spell is doing a lot more damage than I was counting on. Alright. That's trouble. The good news is, we get to go right away. Uh, the bad news is, this Rainblood Rook might attack us. And so could that dragon. So I'm going to put Isabella beside... Leon, so she gets his defense bonus. We definitely need to heal up. Uh, you want to target Produn? No, you want to target Leon. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, so keep in mind, Blaze 3 from the Rainblood Queen can do 30-ish damage. 32 damage. That's not bad. 
Friendship is magic! Alright, so Julian, well, you're not a big fan of that, are you? It's possible we have some weapons that protect against fire damage. On the other hand, I think we'll be able to kill this queen pretty quickly if she wants to come out and play like this, yeah. Oh, she can't even move! Oh man, what a bad day to be you. Um, so we could heal up. It's an idea. But this is also an idea. How much damage can the blessing spell do to an evil creature? It should be weak to light magic. <laughs> yeah! 10 MP for 90 damage. That is very, very good. Very, very good. Alright, Produne. You're gonna block off. Not that she can move anyway, but you're actually totally safe from here. And you got weapon advantage, so seems like the right choice. No specials, but I have a feeling um, bosses must have some sort of inherent... Hey, that's nice. Um, some sort of built-in um, anti-critical. Like, they can be critted, but it's unlikely. Oh, you're gonna run away. You sacrificed the queen? I don't know how to play chess. Have you ever played chess before? Alright, Julian should be okay. That's not too bad. It's less damage than a Blaze 3, interestingly enough. You're gonna come rescue. Alright, so flyers can stand here. We definitely want the Lich to die. And there's no one else Thousand can attack anyway. And if he's got uh, friendship with Prodoon, they can defend and attack boost each other, although they might not be friends. Uh, so Leon. Leon, Leon, Leon. Do we just kill the Lich right now? Yeah. While he's got long range, I don't really want to move him because his support bonus is pretty valuable. And, uh, yeah. I figured he'd have weapon advantage, pretty good damage, no problem. Now, try to kill the queen if we can. Oh good, run away, that's perfect. Alright, so we might heal up the blue dragon at some point if we can, but it's, it's not a big deal. Alright, so the thieves I'm sure are going to start running away pretty quick. Or at least that's what I would assume. I guess uh, you, they really give you a lot of time. Like, there might be a couple items that you have to get right away. But it looks like most of them you can just wait if you want. So everyone escapes. And uh, the thieves are left to wander about on their own, basically. It's fine. Okay, Miss is High, high Wizard. So... Unfortunately, I don't think there's anyone that gives her a magic damage bonus, which is all I was trying to consider for where to position her. Uh, we can get magic defense off of the healers, but that's not the same thing. Um, I don't really want to take up the valuable spot with the attack bonus beside uh, Produn and... Uh, Produn and uh, Sinbai... <laughs> Jewel Medion. Uh, but this actually has a good chance of just killing the queen anyway. Well, depends on her lightning resistance, but it could kill her. Yeah, she is weak to lightning. She is very, very weak to lightning. That was like plus... Oh, at least plus 20% damage, if not more. Well, Taya's just get wrecked, son, is all that was. Um... So yeah, the Rook abandoned his queen. That seems like a mistake. Uh, Isabella, I guess, just heals up somebody. Somebody took damage? Uh, Julian took some damage. We'll put her in the safety spot then. Oh, yeah, she's still got the regenerating staff. Wow, I mean, that, that boss went down too easily, honestly. You know, we're expecting these Rainbloods to be super scary, and, uh... We had, like, half our team, give or take. You know what? Let's just block up the road in. 1v1 me. Isol Breaker! And he can't even move to run away. 
So the only problem I can see is that we might not be able to capture one of the Earth Dragons. <laughs> We're down to the point where the only problem I can find is that we might be too strong. Let's melt his feet. This is exactly how we're going to do it. <laughs> Frozen in place and then melted. Too bad you're dead. You'll never get to move again. Actually, self-destruct as well, just in case. Nah, we don't need healing drops. Alright. So, yeah. You want to come at us? I don't think... I mean, I'll give... Technically, Julian can have magic defense. But I don't think this boss has magic attack. So I don't think it's necessary. He did come at the choke point, so we can't really get to the Earth Dragons, but that's okay. He's very yelly. Eh, not that bad. We'll put Leon next to him, he'll be totally safe. Honestly, I will be surprised if this Rainblood survives an entire round. Also, this could one-shot him if, if the boss doesn't have protection from insta-death. Probably does. I, I mean, I would hope so, honestly. Oh, look! Reinforcements! It's way too late for that. It's way too late for reinforcements. Now, the Lich could heal the boss, which is kind of funny to say, but he could. Uh, the Blue Dragon is just going to stay out of it. I really don't want to watch these thieves anymore, like, uh, the reason I ran everyone out of here was I was trying to save some time. They're just scattering around willy-nilly. Alright, do 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 Um, well, you know. I'll put Bridget beside Gracia so that his shining can do more damage. And we're just gonna go with Spark 3, or 4, 4 it is. Because it worked real good on the last one. They seem to be weak to lightning. Because, remember, her base damage there is not that high. Her base spark 4 damage is 84, and we're doing well over 100. And I don't... Unless I've totally lost it. No, she does not get a magic damage up from anybody. So, yeah. Uh, Isabella, you actually could help. Now, we could, you know, we could put resist all or, uh, whatchamacallit, um, support. You can get plus defense or plus magic defense. But it doesn't matter because this rook is toast. Even the healer can do 77 damage. I mean, we've got a really good choke point here, actually. Um, this is actually, like, pretty much perfect for me. Uh, except that we could have our whole party around and we'd do even more damage. Oh, Julian, you want to finish him off? Why not? I also could have healed Julian, but I was not worried. He might kill him. Ah, Froze him in place again, though. But, like, even if the Rook got an attack, because, um, Leon and Julian are friends, like, he only did, like, 17 damage or something around there last time. Um, because Thal uh, Leon is next to him, you get plus 5 defense. It's not the hugest upgrade, but, you know, 12 damage is less. And it's not going to happen anyway, because, uh, well, because you're dead. Kamehameha! I don't know, it's red. It's evil Kamehameha. Oh, he dropped his axe. Oh good, it's got such a large area of effect it killed the Lich as well. What? Soulmate? Julian and Gracia, soulmated for life. <laughs> it's like, almost useless, but it, well no, because it provides, uh, it's useful for Julian. It gives him magic defense and luck from far away. But it doesn't really help, uh, it doesn't help Gracia out. <laughs> Bros forever. Rainblood Queen defeated by this motley army. Why did they have to appear while the king was not around? It looks like you're lucky this day. Where is the captive Symbios army? In the cave, right? Now wouldn't it be nice if the Symbios army could take revenge for the four of us? What? 
Revenge for the Rainbloods, the Symbios army? What are you talking about? Well, if you want to know what I mean, enter the cave and you'll find out. The Symbios army will give you a very warm welcome. Is that because it's a volcano? Kaboom! Self-destruct initiate. The Sinbios army will seek revenge, but what? I don't understand it. Must have something to do with the crisis that's befallen Sinbios. Could be. Sinbios is in danger. Let's hurry. Yeah, we don't have the leisure to discuss this anymore. Hurry it up, guys. But this is probably a trap. But hurry it up anyway, because it's a trap. All right. That is that. And we're going to stop it right here. <laughs> <laughs> I found a way to pause it even when they're in the middle of a cutscene. So it's a little bit of a shorter episode today, but, um, you know, it is uh, a break in the battle. We basically steamrolled those Rainbloods. There's two more, but uh, so far they haven't really put up much of a fight. It's a little bit disappointing, I'll admit. But I am also very happy that our team is super strong and overpowered, because that's also fun in its own right. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you guys have enjoyed as we... Get, basically break down the game to the final couple battles. I will see you next time for trying to rescue Symbios. See you there.